The fourth speaker of the morning is Jukka Leskala, director of the Finnish Energy, so giving the perspective of, of this, this country, which is one of the few ones in Europe still at the moment building nu new nuclear, and uh, also I'd say we have relatively clean electricity, but still quite high CO2 emissions per capita, so interesting to hear about Jukka's thoughts. Thanks. Thank you, and thank you for invitation to this uh, seminar. So I'm uh, uh, leading the organization of Finnish Energy, uh, and we represent uh, the Finnish or the electricity companies and district heating companies who have activities in Finland. So I uh, s uh, speak with the voice of the 270 member companies that we have. In Finland there are actually quite a few energy companies and, and a lot of uh, competition also in, in uh, power generation. What I try to do is shortly give an overview on, on uh, what's the role of uh, an, an idea of nuclear in, in Finnish energy system. But first of all, uh, Finland is uh, an energy country with no energy resources. Of course, we have some energy resources. We have a lot of forest, we have some rivers, and we have a lot of wind and a uh, big area for, uh, uh, for example, solar. So, but, but traditionally speaking, uh, Finland has lived on its own natural resources. We have imported energy, produced goods, and exported the goods and, and uh, gained welfare. Uh, and this has been the traditional way of uh, uh, how how we have come up from uh, from a rural small uh, small population country to to a welfare country nowadays. Uh, to do this, uh, there has been a great development of uh, know-how in energy. In energy efficiency, both in energy uh, generation and, and energy use, uh, we have used more and more and more our own domestic biomasses and other sources of energy. Uh, there has been a great trust on nuclear power uh, as a base load energy for, for industry and, and for society as whole. And this trust has uh, been built up on a very good experiences that we have got from nuclear energy. And, and we have open and competitive energy markets. Uh, Nordic markets already for about 20 years, but uh, nowadays, of course, the markets are much wider than Nordic only. As a result of this uh, development and know-how, we have all also a very high export of energy technology. I think we are about the second in Europe, uh, if you calculate the energy exports per all exports of any country. The Denmark, I think, is, is the number one at the moment. The value of the energy exports is around 10 billion euros annually. What have been the cornerstones of Finnish energy policy during the last decades has been uh, to maintain competitive price of electricity, especially for, for these industries that I mentioned, uh, pulp and paper, metals, chemicals, etc. Uh, together with high security of supply. Secondly, uh, for at least 20 years now, uh, uh, greenhouse gas emissions and a reduction of greenhouse, ga uh, greenhouse gas emissions has been in, in the center of the Finnish energy policy. And also the, uh, due to the high imports of uh, fossil fuels, Finnish governments have tried to increase the use of domestic energy resources uh, to replace these these imports, and this this has uh, have actually been the cornerstones of practically any government 
uh, during last decades. Lately, uh, mainly during this decade, there have been other targets as well, uh, which are uh, industrial policy targets or, or others. But uh, I would say that these three main targets still are valid. Our national economy is not, of course, anymore that dependent on on these uh, energy-intensive export industries. But still, uh, we have had a very, very uh, bad economy for the last 10 years, and uh, I would say that the role of the export industries is still very high when, when uh, we speak about uh, getting back on track for the economic development in Finland. Uh, this is the result, as it is today. Uh, this is how we have uh, had our electricity last year. One fourth of the electricity came from nuclear power, practically one fourth from combined heat and power, uh, both industrial and, and municipal, and then almost one fourth by imports. We actually have very little condensing power anymore, and uh, also the combined heat and power, which is of course very energy efficient, uh, has also growing amount of renewable fuels and and all kind of uh, other uh, zero emitting uh, energy sources. We have uh, done quite a bit for decarbonizing our electricity system during uh, uh, last years. This is the graph showing the absolute emissions of power generation in Finland uh, during the last 10 years. And the, the, the line represents the specific emissions, the grams per kilowatt hour emissions. So we have reduced 60% of the carbon dioxide emissions of power generation during the last 10 years. 60%. Uh, this is quite remarkable, actually. And by the way, this has happened without, uh, with only very limited growth in nuclear generation. There are some tens of megawatts during that period, but, but not any, any new power plants in line. So, uh, uh, I, I was told uh, in the presentation that uh, the per capita emissions are relatively high. I would say that, well, they are now in the level of one ton, uh, uh, one, one, one thousand ton of CO2 per capita at the moment. Uh, to make some comparison, I, I will give you the same graph from Germany. It's here. Uh, the last 10 years in, in German power generation uh, with their much debated energy vendor, uh, th they emit uh, roughly 300 million tons CO2 per, uh, per year, which is, I think, something like uh, uh, three, uh, three and a half thousand tons per capita. And uh, their specific emissions are in the level of 500, while we had in our picture a drop from 250 to 100. So this is uh, uh, what we have done here in Finland. Uh, what is sad, though, is, is that our uh, competitiveness in power generation is really weak at the moment. Uh, which can be seen from this picture. So we are importing more and more electricity. And uh, this is partly the result of, of uh, the policies that have been taking place in, in neighboring countries. So there is more and more uh, cheap electricity available in the markets due to the fact that the economic growth and, and power consumption have been very poor uh, in, in during last years. Uh, but at the same time, there is more and more 
uh, electricity in the markets. This has led to low electricity prices and, and of course, then uh, the competitiveness of, of uh, the Finnish electricity generation has not been that, that good. So there is a reason for increase our own generation. And this is actually what is happening also in the field of nuclear. Uh, we have in Finland two existing nuclear power plants with four reactors uh, in Lovisa and Olkiluoto. And uh, one reactor under construction, Olkiluoto 3, uh, 1.6 gigawatts, uh, which will be hopefully in line until the end of next year. That will, of course, help ourselves to balance the national generation to, to national consumption. And then there is another uh, project uh, under preparation phase, uh, which is a Greenfield nuclear power project in Hanhikivi, in, in Pyhäjoki, in, in northern Finland, uh, 1.2 gigawatts. Uh, and, and they expect to uh, have their construction license in, in 2019. And that would be online in somewhere in the mid 2020s. The official target, uh, I think, is 2024 at the moment. So that that's the status, and and it's quite obvious that uh, uh, Finnish uh, government has allowed uh, companies to build nuclear power plants uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, the most important are that uh, we need more uh, power generation in Finland that should be uh, carbon uh, or low carbon from low carbon sources, and also we need a lot of capacity uh, to cover all possible situations in in the power needs. I will show you still another comparison to another country. Uh, different countries have different uh, 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 kind of activities. Uh, in Denmark, uh, which is about the size of Finland in population, uh, they consume about 40% uh, of the electricity than, than we do, because there is uh, a very little energy intensive industry, not that much of electric heating as we have. And of course, it's, it's uh, located in much warmer place. Um, I was wondering once that uh, how different is the power consumption of Finland and Denmark. And then I took two random weeks of consumption of these both countries. This is the random week one from summer, where in the le left axis there is the, the Finnish power consumption and in the right axis, there is the Danish power consumption. We see that actually the pattern of consumption is exactly the same in both countries, but the difference is that in Finland there is 4,500 uh, megawatts more base load consum uh, consumption than in, in Denmark. And if you take the random week in winter, we have the same a phenomenon again, actually the, the weekly uh, way of consuming electricity in these both countries are exactly the same, but we have 9,000 megawatts of base load consumption in Finland. Now, and now of course the question is, uh, of, okay, if we start from the 9,000 in winter or 4,500 in, in summer, then we can have uh, about the same uh, system, and, and we can start uh, considering how to how to cover this consumption. But we need to do something for the base load, and and, and of course, we see in in uh, in Finnish energy that uh, nuclear energy is very good uh, base load capacity for the society. Uh, it's uh, carbon neutral, and still we have we can have as much of. Uh, other carbon neutral sources from the uh, than for example Denmark who has decided not to invest in in nuclear 
Okay, that was more or less my uh, my presentation. I still saw the the acceptance poll of uh, of uh, nuclear acceptance in Finland. We have run this Gallup from uh, early 1980s, and we have enjoyed a very positive uh, attitude towards nu nuclear in Finland. Uh, but uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, the future of nuclear is not that much dependent on acceptance only. I, I believe that it's much to do with the with the cost of nuclear. And this is something that the uh, nuclear industry needs to solve uh, itself and together with authorities. I share very much about the ideas of King that we, we need some uh, harmonization of regulation, that's the start, but then, then it needs to be continued so that the nuclear industry uh, makes uh, more standardized uh, products and, and uh, develops the standards in order to get the prices of nuclear energy uh, low again. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jukka. Any any questions uh, from the audience at this point? Oh. But. Uh, we, uh, hi. Thank you for that. With that new build program, the reactor currently under construction and proposed, based on the current emissions per kilowatt hour, it would, looks to me like Finland would approach close to zero emissions per kilowatt hour with that additional nuclear capacity. Is that about right. I mean, what what it, would it be about a hundred grams per kilowatt hour, fifty grams per kilowatt hour? But it would be getting pretty pretty close to job done with uh, those new reactors. I think is that correct? Uh, I, w I would say that we are we are in the one hundred grams level at, at the moment, and uh, certainly that will replace the remaining uh, condensing power. Practically all of that. Still, we have uh, some fossils in, in uh, combined heat and power, and, and there, there we need uh, other kind of solutions, and, uh, but they are also happening. So I, I would say that the whole Nordic energy system, not only Finnish, but the whole Nordic energy system will be uh, carbon neutral by 2050 uh, or so. Finnish government just uh, 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 gave, gave their own target of uh, having carbon neutral uh, system in Finland in 2045. I, I believe that it's uh, possible, and uh, the electricity must be decarbonized bef well before that. And, and that is happening, and, and we are very committed to do it in doing that. Okay, let's have another one from Rick over there. Riku Merikoski, SK Market Predictor. I would actually like to comment on that. Actually, <laughs> I'm pretty skeptical that we can actually reach this uh, so close to zero because actually the Finnish new build program will partly be absorbed by Swedish nuclear plants going down. So we might well reach like 50 or 30 or 40, but we will not get to zero and uh, actually the that policy of Sweden is a big reason for that, because if Sweden would continue to use all the plants it had a couple of years ago, then we would go very close to zero, but now we will lose some of that gain in reductions, because the Finnish nuclear policy will just replace the Swedish ones, Swedish closed ones. Uh, as I said, the nuclear does not do the trick alone. And then all electricity produced to the market uh, goes to the market. And the, the market is much larger than Finland alone. Yeah, uh, that, that's a good comment, good answer. Uh, there's still one in the back. Uh, we can, yeah, I think we still have time, so let's, let's have it. Yuka, uh, is that right? Yep. Uh, that's you. 
Okay. Euchre, Euchre. 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 Um, can you give me any insights on, on the cost of finance, the cost of debt finance on the Finnish new, new nuclear program? I know this may be confidential, but some idea of whether this is um, expensive? Well, um, there are, as I told, there are two projects. Olkiluoto 3 uh, is uh, much delayed and the costs have uh, increased and then, then there is the question uh, who will pay the cost and, and there is uh, uh, there's an argument between the supplier and the the, uh, the TBO who has purchased the, the power plant uh, that remains to be seen what, what happens there uh, I, I cannot comment on that uh, there are some public estimates on the on the overall cost of the power plant uh, uh, but i they should be commented by the by the power companies them, themselves in uh, in fennovoima project in in Pyhäjoki, they have made an agreement that the power uh, will not cost for the uh, Finnish financiers more than 50 euros per megawatt hour during the last, uh, d during the first, was it uh, 10 years or so? Uh, so, so there is a, an, an agreement with the provider on the cost. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. I still have one quick question uh, now that I have the chance. Uh, about this week, we heard the, one of the biggest biggest business news in the Finnish energy for a while. So, Fortum. Uh, is acquiring Uniper from Germany. So, uh, your quick thoughts on what does this tell us uh, about the, the energy market in Europe? Uh, well, yes, uh, Fortum is uh, the biggest Finnish uh, uh, electricity company, and, and uh, they have announced that they would like to uh, buy uh, the Eon share of Uniper, which is about 47% of the Uniper shares. The market, val market value of Uniper is in the order of 8.5 billion euros, so that purchase would be just below 4 billion euros. And uh, uh, Uniper has, uh, was it 37,000 megawatts of uh, capacity? Uh, much of that is uh, based on fossil fuels and in, in, in Germany. And uh, uh, the value uh, of of this uh, uh, huge capacity can, can be compared that, that the market value of uh, Fortum is is much bigger than Uniper's even if if it has only less than half of the capacity running. So so there are there is uh, some nuclear, uh, there is some hydro, there there is gas and and coal in in the, in the portfolio. There is there are some assets in in Russia also. So. It all, of course, depends uh, 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 how these different assets will uh, will benefit uh, Fortum later on, and how will they start to organize that if they if they can start to do that. The purchase will be finalized in in the beginning of next uh, next year only, and and certainly it will take some time before before they can inform any anything on their action. Uh, uh, for for climate or for uh, for energy system, it actually doesn't matter that much who owns certain power plants. Uh, the question is what will happen to these power plants, and it is quite obvious, as I told, that Fortum can announce their plans only when they have finalized the the, the, the whole issue. All right. Thank you, Yuka, for the for the excellent insight on on the Finnish situation. Uh